What? You want to be vacuumed? Get rid of all that excess fluff? Hey everyone, welcome back to my random life. Yes, my glasses are off today because they are just driving me insane and I don't want them when I'm going to be cleaning my dogs. Okay, so... I was thinking of just doing a quick random reading on a story that I'm actually working on, but I turned around and looked at my dog's crate, Sweetness, and let me actually get her out. Come on. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. She's so good. Okay, and this is what I see when I look in her crate. A crap ton of butt fluff everywhere. All of that. I've already vacuumed up a little bit on the sides and actually a lot between their crates, but that is just a ton of butt fluff. Even if I brush this dog every single, or not every single day, but every two, three days, run the shop back on her to actually suck out some of that hair, it doesn't matter. She's still got this much butt fluff. She is a lab, I'm assuming a lab mix, but I don't know what she would be mixed with. We did get her adopted from the uh, Lake County Animal Shelter, I believe is what it's called. It's down in Tavares, Florida. We got her the day that she got fixed, and she's just been this fluffy since. Let me show you. Come. Good girl. Sit. Not on the heater. Come. Good girl. Stay. Right there. And you can see the amount of fur here. I've even already vacuumed my carpet, but I'm going to vacuum that again. Bedroom. Hey. I. Bedroom. Good girl. Hey. <laughs> Betty. Okay, so you've seen Sweetness's room. You've seen the disaster behind her room. What I normally do, I will take the shop back with the crevice tool, and I'll actually just stick it through the bars, suck up all the air the hair back there and I'll take the crevice tool off afterwards and then just run it over her body. I do have a deferminator that I'll use on her occasionally. It helps. It gets out a lot of hair, but it does get irritating when I'm constantly on my knees or bending over for half an hour to an hour and a half of brushing her. take from that what you will, but the deferminator does work quite well. I actually have something on my, have a photo on my Instagram that I will post right here. That was half an hour of brushing on her and that entire pile of hair was just massive. It was a square foot and it was, I'd say about six inches thick of just hair just piled in one spot. This is the fluff that came out from in between the crates and Betty, which was really not that much, but there we go. It's obviously like you can see mostly long, so it is mostly sweetness as hair, but I am going to go ahead and vacuum up the hair behind her crate. So all of that I'm gonna vacuum up as well as whatever's in her crate um, after that I will actually go ahead and vacuum her and we'll see how it does as far as pulling the excess hair out <laughs> no you want to just be brushed you want your brush you want your brush get rid of all that hair all right we'll brush you baby all right, let's vacuum up this hair.
say goodbye to my nice clean carpet. Please ignore the stains. We spilled a soda. Let's ferminate the puppy. Do we need? Come here. You want that? Yeah. Yeah. You like your brush? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Now I am really not pressing that hard on her and you can see exactly how much hair is coming off of my lab. <laughs> if any groomers are watching this, please, please, please comment below. I'm not done sweetness, I promise baby. Please, please comment below if you know what I can do to kind of get rid of all the excess fluff. Hey! Come on! I'm not done! All the hair. <laughs> I have a ton of dog hair every single day, week, hour, if you will. It's just ridiculous the amount that I get from her. We are going to be getting a, yeah, it's called a blowout machine. I'm going to be getting one of those within the next couple of months just to kind of help get rid of all this fluff on her. Hey. And I cannot wait for that time to come fast enough, honestly. Because, seriously, look at this. There's no reason I should already have this much hair all over. And I haven't even finished this side. Yeah, that's all your fluff. That's all your fluff. Yeah, that's all you. Look at that. <laughs> big brat. <laughs> you big baby. Oh, get it, mommy. <laughs> I have gone as far as thinking about getting um, a curry comb that's used on horses to run it on her. I just... Uh, it's one of those where it's like, yeah, I want to because I'm used to using a curry comb. But I don't want to because, well, it's a curry comb. It's meant for horses, not for dogs. So, it's a fun little issue for me. I have used the shop vac to blow out her coat before, which that was a ridiculous fun time. Because somebody wanted to sit still. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and as you can see, now I'm actually kind of pressing a bit, and I'm still getting more off of her. But, the deferminator, in short, it works wonders. Alright, seriously, look at that. She looks cleaner when... I fully get her defirmed, or when I fully get her defluffed, she's softer, and she's just all around a whole heck of a lot better once I do get her brushed out. But again, 30 to 30 minutes to an hour and a half of sitting on my knees on tile even on carpet or just bending over to brush her out and it is ridiculously tough on my legs and I'm only in my mid 30s got her all situated again and we are going at it some more um, if there's any any 
any groomers out there, please let me know what I can do to kind of get rid of all this excess fluff. I am tired of it ending up on clean clothes in the dresser, all over my counter. If there's anything I can do to get rid of all the excess fluff on her all the time, because even in the winter she does shed, it's not this bad, but she's constantly shedding all year long. I mean, look at that. And again, I am nowhere near done. Stay. Now, come on, stay. So what I am actually going to do on her today is just run this on her a bit to get off a good chunk of it, I should say, because I can't say the majority. I'm just gonna run, get the, a good chunk of this hair off her and then I'm going to hit it with the vacuum cleaner or the shop vac and actually get more of it. Yeah, is that feeling better? Yeah? Alright. Well, now that we've got dog hair all over my carpet, all over me, and still on the dog. <laughs> Let's run the shop back, get it all vacuumed up off of the carpet, somewhat off me and off of her. And I've even got some over there again. Okay. too ridiculously crazy in a house if you are in a camper if you've got a dog that sheds everywhere all right this dog sweetness my lab sheds every day all year long it doesn't matter if I take her to the groomer and have her blown out it's literally this bad again two weeks later 
I love her to death. I'm not getting rid of her simply because of the coat. I'm not getting rid of her at all anyway. But I would gladly trade all the excess fluff from her. All the excess fluff. If anybody wants fly tying material, I've got dog hair. <laughs> I'm sure you could use it. But seriously, I get her hair in clean laundry. I've got it in dirty laundry, obviously. I've got it on the counter, on the stove, under the grates on the stove. Just, you name it, I have her dog hair somewhere in this house. And that's even if I come home, do a deep clean while she's at the groomers, getting her coat blown out, that's still the same thing. I have no idea what to do about all this excess fluff. I know I've said this tons in the video already. If you're a groomer and you know something I can do or something I can try that might help, please shoot me a message in the comments or actually email me or something. Let me know what I can do. <laughs> I'm scared to look in the shop back. Alright? I'm truly scared with the amount that I pulled off of her just with the brush. But we're going to go outside. We're going to take a look in there. And I'm going to empty it out for all the birds to have. Let's go. Moment of truth. Okay, that wasn't as bad. And you can see all the dog hair everywhere. Alright, birdies. And I'll have a bunch of birds in the yard picking it up later. What? Gotta go potty? Potty? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Well, I'm gonna pick up the shop vac, get that put away, and let them out for a few minutes to play. Hopefully the heat outside tires them out. See you guys next time. Shut up, Meg. Hi everyone, okay, so earlier in the video, what you were seeing was actually yesterday for me. Uh, today, um, yeah, I woke up and my dog's crate, Sweetness's crate, is covered in dog hair again. Let me show you this. Hey, baby. Hey, Dicko girl. Mind you, I vacuumed around it and behind it yesterday. I vacuumed in her crate, vacuumed her, and brushed her. Ain't that right, baby? And this is what I get the very next morning. We have more dog hair there. More dog hair all the way around the back. This is absolutely ridiculous. Hey. Yeah, you're fluffy. And then we have this again. And I literally just brushed her and vacuumed her yesterday. How is this possible? For a lab! Good girl. Good girl. Absolutely crazy.